I remember being so embarrassed. Like, I can't even describe the humiliation. Mm -hmm. Because knowing that, like, literally everybody I knew was tuned in and watched. Yeah. And I I was like, I don't want to go back to college. Like, I don't want to go back to my school. I can't face people again. I was so embarrassed because the critique was pretty cruel. Mm -hmm. Um, It was, you know. They used words like you sounded like rats being strangled, you know, just like beyond what needed to be said. And so I was so embarrassed. And my honestly, I think that was my first true heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Like my heart was broken. And um, just so I can't even describe the amount of humiliation. But I in life, you have to get up over and over and over again. Like we are always going to face these moments where you get pushed down and someone's going to tell you that you're not enough, whether it's a breakup and a heartbreak and you make and you write the story that I wasn't enough for that person or someone tells you your passion or your talent isn't good enough. Like we're going to have to face that over and over and over again. So you might as well learn. I I, someone once called it falling up, you know, like you could you're going to fall down, but you get the choice to like fall upwards because you can take it and you can learn from it and you can let it teach you something and grow. And I'm not sure what gave me the wisdom at that point to do that. But since then, looking back on that experience, many times I've thought the same things and learned the same lesson and taken from that experience, the past self of me. But I really think that it comes down to the fact that we have these conflicting voices. There's our head, there's our body, there's our spirit. And learning to not listen to your head so much, I think, is the best thing that ever happened to me. And luckily, I'm pretty good at listening to my spirit because the head was like, that was embarrassing. That was humiliating. We never want to do that again. I'm never getting on a stage again. But then once that settled down and a little bit of time passed and I was really sad, the the spirit started to get a little bit louder and be like, you're not done yet. You're not done yet. And the biggest thing I learned that I could share with someone out there is that you can never let one moment of your life define your existence and how good you are or how, you know, who you are. 